Hello everyone, my name is Bora Akhtar, I'm a second year MBG student and this is my Physics 101 project titled Measuring, Comparing and Analyzing the Period Times of Two Identical and Non-Identical Pendulums. Objective of this experiment is to conclude whether the period times of two separate sets of pendulums that differ regarding their release angle and bob masses are identical or not identical. The pendulum that I will be using is called a simple pendulum. And in a simple pendulum, the rope has no mass and the bob is treated as a point object. And with combining this knowledge with the Newton's law of sec uh, second law of rotational motion, you get an equation that's written as torque is equal to moment of inertia multiplied by the angular momentum. So in order to conduct the first part, part of the experiment, which was whether the release angle is a determining factor for the period time, one type of, one type of pendulum was constructed. So the pendulum was composed out of a 59 centimeter rope and 100 gram bob at the end. So firstly, the pendulum was released from a 45 degree angle for three, three separate times in order to enhance the precision and accuracy of the experiment. And after repeating this part of the uh, experiment, uh, for three times, the pendulum was released from 60 de uh, degree angles for three separate times as well. So, in the second part of the experiment, which was whether the uh, mass of the bob is a determining factor for the period time, two types of pendulums was constructed. The first pendulum was composed out of uh, also a 59 centimeter rope with a 100 gram bob at the end, and the second one was also 59 centimeter rope and also with a 50 grams of bob at the end. So firstly, uh, the pendulum with 50 grams of bob was released from 45 degree angle for three times also to enhance the precision and accuracy of the experiment. When this was repeated for three times, the 100 gram pendulum was also released from 45 degree angle for three times. And the period times were uh, recorded by, uh, by a phone and then transferred to the computer to a video editing software to calculate period times. The data that was collected from the measurement is as follows. In conclusion regarding the first part of the experiment, which whether the releasing angle of the pendulum uh, is a determining factor for the period time, it was found that the releasing al uh, angle is not a determining factor because the error percentage is relatively low. In conclusion regarding the second part of the experiment, although it is theoretically known that the bob mass is not a determining factor for the period time, the error percentage was relatively high when it's compared with the first part of the experiment's percentage error with 15.4%. So how could this error percentage be explained? So although the pendulum was treated as a simple pendulum, there were differences between a theoretical simple pendulum and the pendulum that I constructed. Firstly, the bob was treated as a point object in the uh, theoretical pendulum where center of mass is located in the line drawn from the pivot point to the end of the rope. In practice, the bob was put on a platform that caused bob to rotate on its vertical axis, causing the uh, center of mass to move and change regarding the axis drawn from the pivot point to the end of the rope. While the second hypothesis states that the air friction could be a determining factor in the period times regarding the 50 grams pendulum and 100 grams pendulum, as the 100 uh, grams uh, pendulum has more cross-sectional area when compared to the 50 grams pendulum. And because uh, the cross-sectional area is directly proportional to the air resistance, 100 grams bob will have twice as much air, uh, air friction when compared to the 50 grams. Third and the last hypothesis states that the differences could have been caused from random errors, meaning that it is also a possibility that bobs could have a positive or negative initial velocity at t is equal to zero that's caused out of a push from the hand that is releasing the bob. So a positive initial velocity could change the period time positively and negative uh, initial velocity could change the period time negatively when compared to the theoretical value of the period times. Thank you for listening to my Physics 101 project.